Brexit is coming. I've got three things I need to do before the end of the transition period. Do I have time to do them? Let's see. Stravetti Prieteli. Welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria with me, Gareth. On today's video, I'm going to show you my experience with the Bulgarian bureaucracy. Brexit is coming and I've got three things to do. I need to change my license to a Bulgarian license. I need to renew my Lichna Carta, resident card. And I also need to sign up so I'm paying social health insurance. But this video will also help people that are trying to become residents of Bulgaria that are coming from a third country. A third country is a country that's not part of the European Union. So not only will this help people who are British who want to become residents of Bulgaria, this will also help people in the future who want to become residents who are not part of the European Union. The bureaucracy in Bulgaria is notoriously difficult. So let's see how difficult it really is. I've got all my documents here. First, I'm going to go down to the immigration office and I'm going to try to renew my Lichner Carta. Let's see how this goes. The immigration office is on Ulitsa San Stefano. I will put all these addresses for all these places in the description of the video. Important to remember to take down with you to the immigration office is copies of all documents, passports, previous Lichna Carta. It's also necessary to have proof of a private health insurance. So I'm back from the immigration office with these forms I need to fill in. Come and have a look at these forms. The first form is completely in Bulgarian and is a declaration that I have enough money to support myself and my family. The second one has all my details and asks questions about family history. This is in Bulgarian and English so it's easy to fill out. So I went down again with Petia this time as I needed to prove my address. The address that I'm staying at is the apartment of Petia's mother. I had to bring copies of my birth certificate, passport and previous residency card. It turned out I didn't need my birth certificate, only my passport, but it needed to be translated into Bulgarian. It's important to know that all documents that are not Bulgarian need to be translated. Luckily there's a place just over the road that would do, would do the translation for us. And together with a tax of 12 lever, I handed in my documents from the immigration office. Now I've got a few more days while they check my documents and then I need to go back again. After the three days I came back and I had another form I had to fill in together with taking more copies of my passport and then I had to pay another tax. The tax was for 30 days 18 lever or for three days 36 lever. These prices are only relevant if you are renewing your Lichna Carta. If it's the first time, the prices are completely different. And at the end of this video, I will tell you a great website that will give you all this information. Okay, now we're on to the next step. Now I have to go to the traffic police to try to change my license to a Bulgarian license. It's absolutely obligatory if you are a resident in Bulgaria to change your license to a Bulgarian one. So I need to go to the traffic police. The traffic police here in Bulgaria is known as CAT. So I've got my documents, my license, and let's go and see what I've got to do over there. CAT is situated in the Muzi Vuf Vanencek area of Varna on the boulevard Jan Huniadi, if I've said that correct. Okay, so here we're in my medical. Let's try again to the Finally, after finding out it was the tall grey building that I needed to go, I entered and went to the first casa. I was very lucky to find a girl that could speak English. 
Also what was very important as this was my second visit here because I needed to go and get a medical and have a copy of my driving license. Then I needed to fill out a form that was all in Bulgarian. With the help of Google and one kind security guard, I completed it and had to pay 27 lever to complete the transaction. Okay, so that one was quite easy. After 30 days, I'll see if I get my Bulgarian license or not. So if you're getting value and information, helpful information from this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget you can also possibly subscribe. The rest of our channel deals with travel and tourism within Bulgaria, so we're going to show you around the whole of this beautiful country. So if you want, please subscribe and you'll see future videos. Okay, so that step is done now. So what I need to do next is now I need to go to, uh, to the social office to find out how I can start to pay my health insurance contributions. Though I do recommend as this is obligatory that you must do this as a resident in Bulgaria but I would still recommend that you take out some private um, health insurance together with paying this because this does not cover you for everything so I will go there now and we'll see how that is the financial institute NAP is located in the Chaika area just off the main road Boulevard Primorsky Polk. All I brought with me was my residency card. Okay, we're at the place for the health insurance. I'm gonna find out if we can do it now. Today I brought Petia with me to give her a little bit of help. This one's gonna be a tricky one, I think. After entering, you will come to a touchscreen machines. You can then choose English. Then you need to choose option two, health insurance status. You are then given a number that you need to wait to be called on this wall. We had a form that needed to be filled in. Again, this one, all in Bulgarian. And then I could pay from the last month and this one too. Option to pay here with the card or at the bank with cash. The next time, in January, I will be able to pay three months advance if I wish. So that's it, I'm registered now. I'm able to pay my health insurance, obligatory health insurance contributions. I have an account number and it seems like it's 2340 per month. And that's if obviously you're self-employed or not working. You want to pay yourself if you're paying towards if you have a job here then it's eight percent of your salary right so everything is done all the documents are in now i just need to wait i need to wait around a month and then i will see fingers crossed hopefully all my documents are in order and i can get everything sorted to be fully resident here in bulgaria so the, the effect of brexit shouldn't affect me so if you've really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Don't forget to give a like, give a like a thumbs up, and please write comments. I like to read all your comments and I will try to reply as much if you think that I missed anything, you'd like any more information to do with this process, then please write some comments down and I will try to get around to answering all them comments for you. I would definitely recommend this website if you are thinking of becoming an expat or you actually live here in Bulgaria. Foreigner BG is full of great info and very helpful. They also have a Facebook page and I definitely think it's a must have if you live here in Bulgaria or you want to live in Bulgaria. Definitely check it out.